Hi guys, I'm going to show you guys a extremely accelerated demonstration of how to get a web page on the internet. Uh, so follow with me as I open a web browser, which is what we'll use to load up our web page. The other thing we'll need is a text editor. You can use whichever text editor comes with your operating system. I use this handy dandy one called Text Wrangler. We'll create a new uh, file. Uh, without getting into the nitty gritty of what HTML is, um, We'll make a very simple HTML document, a very simple hypertext markup language document, uh, and we'll save it. And to keep things simple, we'll save it in our home directory. Uh, but most importantly, we should name our file index.html. Um, of course, the file extension refers to hypertext markup language. So let's go ahead and save that file. Uh, next steps will be to uh, open up our terminal and make use of a tool that comes out of the box with uh, Macs. So um, the tool is called Python, and it has a utility called Simple HTTP Server. So much as HTML is called Hypertext Markup Language, HTTP refers to Hypertext Transfer Protocol, and that is the most common protocol that web browsers communicate with. So you guys are probably experienced with typing in HTTP or HTTPS and seeing that the full URL for a web page you're going to visit includes a prefix that indicates the protocol which the file or communication is using in communication between your client and which in our case is our web browser and the server which in our case is a process that's running in our terminal. So let's go ahead and hit enter and start up the web server hosting from our home directory. Uh, and you, also, you can see the exact address that it's hosting from. So it's at HTTP colon slash slash the IP address, which for our purposes is our local IP address. And then a colon delimiter to indicate the port number that we want to communicate with on the remote server, which in our case is this process running in the terminal. Uh, the, by default, uh, the port is colon 80 if you're communicating over HTTP. Uh, if you're communicating over HTTPS, which is a secure version of hypertext transfer protocol, uh, meaning that the contents communicated between client and server are encrypted, that default port is in fact port 443. But your browser knows that and handles it behind the scenes, and that's why when you go to a website, for example, Facebook, you often don't see colon 443. Uh, but in our case, we've got our web page up. Let's access it at port 8000. Let's hit enter, and look, we got it. You can see that the request that was made from our client, our browser, to our server, our terminal process here, running simple HTTP server, uh, was logged, and the response was a 200 OK. So we've successfully managed to host our file locally. Um, Next steps will be to publish our web page to the World Wide Web. Uh, hang with me for the next video.